tonight we'll take a look at Transformers Kingdom Black Arachnia. So, first, let's go into how amazing this figure is. If you look, let's go look at her face. Those dead eyes. We have her Predacon symbol there. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised that they didn't do a Netflix version for Walmart where that was swapped out. Maybe it is on the new one. I wonder if it is. I don't know. Whatever. So, uh, let's see here. You, know, you have your spider legs. Such a fantastic mold. Uh, comes with a weapon. Neat little weapon. Yellow plastic with some paint. Set that off to the side. Um, it does work in these hands. Actually, let me show you that real quick. So, right here, this will peg in. Focus. Just like that. So she'll hold it, even with her little claw hands. Great, great, great articulation. Heads on a ball joint, and also moves up and down like this. Look at this, look at this. Got some shoulder movement there. Shoulder movement, shoulder movement. Uh, elbow. Uh, you get no rotation on the hands, unfortunately. These things kind of get in the way as I'm doing this. Uh, you get... She's very small and dainty, but very articulated. Almost looks like a double joint here, but it's not. But you get these cool spikes. So you can impale people. And of course, the feet have a rocker. She's very poseable and very menacing with all of her spider legs just pointed out everywhere. Take a look at the back, and you get the the Black Widow coloring on the back. You can also put it on a flight uh, stand. Has a little the three millimeter port there. Although it's a little bit weird because it's it's on this angled piece. If you can even see that. You get the five millimeter ports on the back of the legs. Um, again, and I think I've mentioned this before. The Kingdom figures are not covered in ports, so like using weaponizers. Uh, is not as big of a thing for these guys, which is weird because they come with fossilizers, but really all they can do is hold them in their hands except for a couple of ports. So, here's Black Arachnia in robot mode. I'm not going to transform this in front of you because it's a pain. Alright, so we have Black Arachnia in Tarantula... No. What am I talking about? Um, spider mode, which is a Black Widow. Let me take a look first at... I had the... The weapon helps peg in the bottom, so I had the weapon on the bottom, but it fell out. That creepy... Creepy set of eyes. The markings down the back. The articulated, I was going to do a comparison, uh, the articulated arms, they're nice. The weapon does store under the bottom into these two little tabs, but it, it doesn't want to tab in. And I think it, it's kind of weird, it has almost like a microphone right there, like if she was spying, there's the microphone. Um, so my favorite dino mode comparisons, of course, you've already seen the biggest, baddest dino on the block, uh, T-Rex, just towering over her. Um, but then my favorite comparison is this. She's going to eat the rat. She's 100% going to eat the rat. <laughs> and that's terrifying. You know, if you just... Pose these up the right way. The, ne the next one could be uh, Transformers War for Earth, Australia. Giant spider eating a rat. There you go. So, uh, there's not really a whole lot about Beast Mode with her. Uh, it's a fantastic looking and it, it's creepy. And it, even just holding it in your hand is creepy. 
and then with all the articulation that you get with these arms and that face those eyes and just the overall just it's creepy like that's creepy and it's perfect all right now we're back in robot mode let's do a few comparisons and why not compare her to her teammates um i i don't feel like she was really a predacon long enough i think she was she was a maximal longer than she was a predacon in my eyes so we're gonna go with mostly you know it actually looks like we're gonna go with all maximals so here we go and i'm gonna try to do this so they're in line so it's an actual scale but that's obviously not gonna happen so here she is with optimus primal uh, i'll put him right behind her but you'll see how uh, Dinobot towers over her like that. Throw in the Netflix version of Cheetor. Here we go, little little rat trap. Uh, her on-screen kind of weird, not even weird. There seemed to be a connection with Windblade. And let's go with a non, hold on, let me find one. Let's go with, uh, let's go with red alert. No, let's not go with red alert. I did too much red alert. There we go. We'll go with, seriously? Seriously. Go, I'm serious. Go away. Interrupting dinosaur. Anyway, so we're going to go with side swipe. There you go. So she's actually a little bit taller than side swipe. So there's some comparisons, um, again, mostly with Beast Wars figures. Well, I call them Beast Wars figures, they're kingdom figures. Um, I don't have a normal Beast Wars figure handy never had her uh and her original original figure those some of those beast wars figures i'm sorry they were terrible so move so that's why by the way um so yeah this thing's awesome the alt mode is fantastic that spider is so creepy um the coloring in spite in the spider mode is fantastic i love the color in robot mode i think just the the little bit of of red with uh, on the back, but all the black and gold is, is perfect. The, the the detail on the chest piece is, is awesome. All in all, it's, it's a it's a fantastic figure, and you should buy one. Like it's it's just an awesome figure. I wish I had the four pack, but I've yet to see that in a store. Um, if I see that, I do want to get the four pack because I do want the other. I, I do want the Nemesis Primal. I do want the other version of her. I don't know if I care about the Bumblebee, and I don't know if I care about Fangry, but I do want a couple of those, uh, but it's not going to be a deal breaker if I don't find one. So, that's about it for tonight. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Um, see you at TFCon. Later.